Hey everyone, this is a video that I've been wanting to make for a long time, but uh, never got around to it. So today I had a little bit of time after surgeries and decided to come in here and make this video. This is a video for urologists who perform ureteroscopies and laser lithotripsy, stone manipulation. And I'm going to be talking about stone extractors, baskets, and things like that. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is John Lin. I'm a urologist in Gilbert, Arizona, also your humble host of the Thriving Urology Practice Facebook group. As always, if you have any questions during the live stream, please feel free to ask in the comments. And if you're watching this on the replay, whether it's on Facebook or on YouTube, feel free to leave your comments below. I would love to answer them and see what we can share among ourselves. Okay, for urologists who perform ureteroscopies, the stone extractor or stone basket has been around forever. And some of these are shown in this picture. I started out using the something similar to the, the middle one called the Enforce. These are Cook stone extractors. So I started using something called the Enforce during training and then things evolved and got better. The end circle was uh, the, the next thing that I tried. I like the tipless stone extractor or the basket Th those were called i call those baskets i like the tipless basket because it doesn't traumatize as much the calyx seal lining when you have a stone inside a calyx and you're trying to catch it the problem is if you have a telescope going straight in you readerscope going straight into a calyx and the stone is literally right here you have a tip or no tip doesn't matter when you open it, it does, it's not in, it's not going to easily grab that stone. So I've been using I, I evolved. I, I learned about new instruments and new tools. I evolved and I started using. Now I've been using this for years. Something called the uh, this is actually made by Cook. I've been using this specific one made by Cook called Engage, and you can see it's the one the fourth one from the left or a second one from the right, the N-gauge, it has no tip. So it opens up like this, and then you can simply grab the stone that is at the end when you open it. So you can literally see the stone, open it up, and then grab it without any problems. And you may be wondering, what if you grab a stone that is too big and you can't, uh, you bring it down to your order and it gets stuck? Well, this, the, that's the other benefit of this thing is that you can open and close it really, really easily. So I have not, I have not had to re disassemble the basket or the stone extractor. This is called the stone extractor. I have yet to disassemble the stone extractor because of a stone that is stuck in the ureter. I've always been able to open this and then release the stone. And that's the other benefit of having this thing this, this stone extractor, I can open it, I can release the stone without having to disassemble the basket. As you know, the more efficient you are in the operating room, the better it is for you, better it is for the patient. So I've been using this exclusively for years. I do not use the end circle, the end compass, or the end trap, end force, none of that. From an operational perspective, it saves a lot of energy and saves a lot of thinking for your support staff because they know this is the only thing that you use and you can just open that when there's a stone case to be done. They don't have to search for the specific specific size or type of a stone extractor that you may want to use. There's only one that I always use. This is my go-to and I have yet to use anything else. There's nothing that I found that this thing could not tackle. The um, Cook Engage 1.7 French stone extractor. All right, so let me show you a quick demo, if I can, of how this thing works. This is actually a two millimeter stone that I have on a piece of paper. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty darn small, it's right there. So I'm gonna take the ruler out of the scene and I'm going to bring in the stone extractor, the end gauge stone extractor. So this is this is on a piece of paper on a little bit of a tilt. So I have, imagine the stone is in the ureter and you're trying to get to the stone using the stone extractor. So I can open it and I can kind of retract the stone distally 
to where that you where that urethral stone is this is a two millimeter stone so i can turn it like this and then your assistant will be closing like this pushing this forward will close it's that's the other benefit of having this thing this uh engage is that the operator the person the assistant does doesn't need to know anything about the uh, stone extractor. All he or she has to do is look at the uh, labeling right here. Push forward to close and open, just pull it towards you. So open and close. So imagine the stone is in the ureter and I'm trying to uh, get to it. And you, you have the, uh, you, you, you look up uh, approximately or look up so the, 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 the ureteroscope would be right here, and then you would introduce this beyond the stone, and then you would open it, open, retract backwards, and then, whoop, <laughs> just like in real life, the stone moves. And then you pull back, and then you close it to capture the stone. So this is a really small stone and I'm trying to do it on a piece of paper, which is not in the order. And this, this stone extractor has been used for, I've been playing with it for a while. So it may not, uh, there we go. It, it's closing all the way and you can capture the stone. Like you pull back, close it, and then you capture the stone in the stone extractor. So let me uh, release that. And there you go. Now I'm gonna try to capture this from end on, uh, as if the stone is inside a, in the middle of a, a calyx, and you're you're looking directly at it with your ureteroscope, and you just drive this thing in. Uh, it's going to be hard to show you on the camera, but I'm going to try. So you drive this in like that, and then you close it, and you capture the stone. So that's the that's the beauty of this thing. It is super efficient. And then here, I'm gonna show you, there you go. You open it and it releases right away. It doesn't get caught. I've got uh, I've got bigger stones if you wanna, if you wanna see it. But anyway, it's very, very efficient. I can, uh, I can open and close it. I can capture the uh, stone, release the stone. And this is also helpful. If I have a stone in the lower pole, I can use the stone extractor, look at the stone, grab it, move it up into the upper pole, release it without any issue that, that that's that's what makes it so much more efficient than any of the stone stone baskets that i used in the past i literally can direct with ex exact precision where i want to drop that stone without any worries of, of the stone being stuck so super super extremely efficient this is the only thing that i use this is the go-to for me now, you may be thinking, who else besides Cook makes this? Cook has dominated uh, the market in my in my mind with, with, with the uh, stone extractor for many years. Well, guess who else has one? Dornier now has a stone extractor similar to this. They make it in the 1.5 French, apparently, diameter smaller. It's always better, right? The latecomer always improves on the technology, which I love. And I believe they're still price competitive for the uh, folks in the operations and the materials with the uh, with the end gauge, the, the cooking end gauge. And uh, here it's for the uh, Dornier product is called the Venus. And I've used this uh, several times. It works the same way. The diameter is, is apparently a little bit smaller, gives you a little bit more irrigation, a little bit more flow in your ureteroscope. The uh, opening of the, uh, the uh, Venus, uh, they, it comes in different sizes. I like to use the smaller, the one that opens uh, pretty small uh, because I don't need, I mean, what, what, what am I going to do? If I use one that has a large opening and I grab the stone, I'm still going to need to fragment it before I can bring it down the ureter. So I always pick the smallest one, the one with the smallest opening, so that I, I'm, le I'm the least traumatic and I'm also able to capture a stone that I can easily bring down the axis sheet down the ureter. The difference, a uh, couple of differences with the uh, Venus versus the N-Gage, the Cook N-Gage. So if you notice, the Cook N-Gage has this type of a handle. Let me show it to you on the uh, magnified view. It has this type of a handle. It's pretty small, pretty slick. So the handle is very, very small, narrow. 
like that. So the operator, you can still manipulate it very easily. It has this thing right here so that you can put your middle finger here, your index finger here, and then your thumb operates the opening and closing mechanism. Now for the Dornier, the Dornier has a big fat ergonomic handle. The small blue thing on top is the switch that you use to open and close. But ergonomically, they're both made pretty much the same. They both work really, really well. And apparently, again, the Dornier stone extractor is apparently 1.5 French, so you may get a little bit more irrigation while using that stone extractor. I have not seen the difference in actual use, but this uh, the uh, Cook one is a 1.7 French, and then the Dornier is a 1.5 French. Uh, 0.2 French difference, you're probably not going to see much of a difference in actual clinical use, but theoretically, you should get a little bit more flow with the Dornier stone extractor. I call these stone extractors, These, uh, in my mind, these are not baskets. D these allow me to actually grab onto the stone, whether it's in the ureter or inside the calyx, I can very easily manipulate the stone, take it out, move it to where I want it to move without having the stone extractor getting caught with the stone in it and I can't release it in the ureter. It is also less traumatic. So it is up to you, your materials folks, to negotiate the best deal with either Cook or Dornier. So consider getting one of these. I This is not a sponsored video. Obviously, I just use these. Uh, I've been using the Cook one for years and I absolutely love it. And it's, it is my only stone extractor that I have in the operating room at my surgery center at the hospital. So let me know what you use when you perform a ureteroscopy. Your thoughts, agree, disagree, comments, let me know below. Take care. Bye-bye.